Hello guys, it is Seb from the past here because this video is actually pre-recorded because I am on vacation visiting some family for the holidays. If you are celebrating yourself, I hope that you all have a lovely holiday season. Now this is normally where I read out the weekly patrons that came and joined the channel this week, but I'm going to wait till I get home because I'd just be reading last week's. But I do want to do something special because I have been doing this now for quite some time and the year is about to come to a close. And I just want to give a very special thank you to some people who have been with me for a very, very, very long time. Um, in no particular order, a very large thank you to Robotica, Yusuf Ali Castle, Eric L. Ruhlman, Gary Watterson, Cha Hosang, Nick, Daniel Lichblau, Nathan Wilson, Lantresser, Richard Smith, Keith Brown, and Medi Sinica for their support on Patreon. Seriously, every time I open Patreon, I see your guys' names all the time, and I feel like most of you have been there since the very beginning, so I just want to express my gratitude and thanks to each and every one of you. And of course, a massive thank you to Halo Burner and Sora Stratos for their immense and continued support to the channel. You guys are greatly appreciated. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, and today we're going to add some sound effects to the game to give it a bit more life. This is going to be the last thing we do before we jump into making a boss event. So I'm just going to make a new folder in the AI uh, character folder first to clean up my scripts. So I'm going to put my undead character combat manager in there. And I'm going to put my um, damage clotter inside the damage clotters folder. And I'm just going to place everything where it needs to be. So next I'm going to go to the sound effects folder. We're going to right click and create a new folder. I'm just going to call this whooshes. Now you guys, you don't need to use anything pretty right now if you're just prototyping. You can just make some sound effects yourself. I made a couple of these and a couple of them... I had from an asset, I can't remember which. So I'm just going to drag those into that folder here now and open up our weapon item script. So under our weapon item script, I am going to make a header for whooshes. And again, don't worry about the quality of the sound effect for now. The implementation is all that's important. If you're in the early phases, you can always come back to this later. You can put like a joke sound effect in there for now. So I'm going to make a public audio clip array. I'm just gonna call it whooshes, that's it. So call it whatever you want. To me, that makes the most sense. And obviously, I'm talking about the sound the weapon makes when the damage clutter is opened up and it's swinging. So typically, this will be for melee attacks only. I'm going to select both my broadsword and straight sword at the same time. I'm going to lock the inspector. And I'm going to highlight all of my whooshes here and drag them in as so. Now, there's two ways we can do this. And I'm going to give you the pros and cons of both. The first way is to basically use animation events. And the pros here are you have complete control of where the sound whoosh happens exactly if you don't want to play it right when the damage clutter opens. The downside is, is that if you get a lot of animations, and I'm talking, you know, like I'm using hundreds of Nephilim, uh, it gets very tedious to go through them all and place them, especially if you're updating those animations or changing it. Then you need to go back and change all the animation events so it does quickly become kind of tedious. The second way is the way we're going to do in this video, which I find works great. It's what I do in Nephilim. We're going to play the sound effect when the damage clutter opens, and because of the way we have our system set up, this is automated for us. Basically, we just drop in the sound effects of each weapon we want um, on the variable we just made, and then the rest is going to be handled through code for us because of the way we have our systems already set up. So we're going to do it that way. All right, let's go and open up the Player Equipment Manager. And let's go down. You can do this too for your AI. If you're using these open and close damage clutters, you can put some whooshes in there if your AI has... Uh, a weapon that would make a whoosh. So right under open damage collider, if it is the right collider, we're just going to simply say player dot character sound effect manager dot play sound effect. And then we're going to use that function we made on our um, world sound effect manager by saying world sound effect manager dot instance dot choose random sound from an array. And then we're going to pass the array of our weapon by saying player dot player inventory manager. And since this is the right hand damage clutter, it will be the current right hand weapon. So just like that. Now we can copy this and paste it down there for the left weapon and just change right to left. And it's that easy. So you can see our systems here are doing all the heavy lifting for us. Um, so this is just really straightforward. Two lines of code. And there we have whooshes to play with every weapon when we attack. So if I save that now and go back into the game, I know you guys can't hear it. I will play an audio clip at the end previewing all the sounds, but that is working on my end. So there we go. Now let's move on to the next one. And the next one, I have a free pack that I'm going to recommend because it is really amazing. So I'm going to create a folder here and call this Damage Grunts. And this gentleman, Knox Sounds, has made a bunch of very, 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 very high quality sound effects. 
So I'll link those on screen in the description now. And I have some, uh, I've renamed these to sound effect male hit, but they're basically the sounds I want to play when the character's getting hit. So pick some sound effects from that pack or take ones you already have and uh, just make a selection of ones that you want to play when your character gets hit. I'm going to go to the character's sound effect manager. I'm going to make a header called damage grunts. And I am going to make a serializable field for audio clips again. And I'm just going to call this damage grunts. Now, in the future, when we get to character creation, these will change if you're a male or female character. But for now, we're going to keep it very general because the AI uh, can also use this because they're going to have their own damage grunts as well. So I'm going to make a public void play damage grunt. And it's going to be super straightforward. We're just going to choose a random audio clip from this array again using our um, world sound effect manager. I'm going to make this a virtual void too because in the future when we have the player sound effect manager, it will choose a sound effect that will be different depending on if you're male or female. So we're going to say play sound effect and we're going to choose a random sound effect from the array and pass the damage grunts. That's it. Now we want to play this when we take damage. So let's go to our take damage effect, which we already have set up. And I think we have a function here called play sound effects. Yes, we do. Cool, that's already set up too. So now let's go under here and all we gotta do is call that right below where we're playing the physical damage sound effect. We're gonna also say character dot character sound effect manager dot play damage grunt sound effect. There we go. And we save that. And now that should work. We need to go to our prefab. I'm gonna lock the inspector and I'm going to drag in the damage grunts. I just made those here in the folder for male hit one through eight. Again, you can get those for free. Very amazing sounds, by the way. A uh, link will be in the description. You should definitely leave the author a nice review because these are very, very well made. It's very nice to release these for free. So I'm going to do the same thing with my undead. I actually made these myself, just making weird noises into my microphone and editing them. Um, it's very easy to make sound effects for stuff like this. I'm probably going to change them later, but I quite like them. So for now, I'm just going to lock the inspector and drag these in for my undead. Give my undead different grunts than my uh, regular character. Going to also create a folder for attack grunts, and I also made these just by making weird noises into my microphone. I'll do the same thing, make a folder in here for undead, and I'm gonna make the undead play these instead of the whooshes because he's kind of swinging at you. And I mean, you can make a, a whoosh sound when you swing your fist, but I'm just gonna use these grunts for now and that'll sound fine. So I'm gonna go to my AI uh, combat manager. And what I want to do here is open the sound effect manager first, sorry. And we're going to make a public virtual void play attack grunt and your player probably won't use these, or maybe they will, depending on the vibe you're going for. But we can make it a virtual void so other classes can use it. Likewise, we're just going to duplicate the header for damage grunts. We can call it attack grunts. So if you want your player to use these, they definitely can. Going to rename the uh, array here to attack grunts. Copy the code, play sound effect, but replace damage grunts with attack grunts. Just that simple. Now we can call this wherever we want to play it. So in my case, I'm going to go to my AI undead character manager here. And I'm going to reference this when I open either of the damage colliders. So I'm going to actually need to make an AI character manager variable, and I'm actually going to do that on the base class so we can just utilize this from any other AI character we might make in the future. So let's go to the AI character combat manager. We don't have it here, so let's add it right now. I'm just going to make the variable of type AI character manager, and I'm just going to call it an awake. I'm going to make it protected so the AI undead combat manager can use this variable as well, and any other class, of course, that would inherit from this in the future. So other types of AI. So AI character is equal to get component AI character manager. And then back over here on the AI and dead combat manager on open right hand damage cloud. And this is again, just for my character. If you've got a character who's swinging a sword, you want to play a grunt there or a whoosh at the same time, play both even if you want. I'm just going to say AI character dot character sound effect manager dot play attack grunt. And I encourage you to play around with this as you see fit. Cause again, you want to have a vibe in your head and just try to capture that vibe. So I'm going to make them play this grunt when they open up either of their damage colliders. I'm going to save that, and that should be working fine. I'm going to drag in all the attack grunts here now on the undead character. Lock the inspector. Okay, cool. And there we go. So there I'm playing a whooshing sound effect. There I'm playing the attack swing from the AI. There's the damage sound effect. Man, that sounds so nice. Just a few sound effects really add a lot of mileage to the game. It's crazy how much more now it feels like a game. So there you go, guys. You have uh, the ability to play in some damage effects, some grunts, uh, some damage and attack grunts. And in the next video, we're actually going to start our boss event. So basically, we're going to make a simplified boss AI. We're going to make a sequence where when you walk across a certain area, you will trigger the event, which will lock you and other characters in the area until you are defeated or the boss is defeated. 
And we're going to learn how to like save the boss states so when you come back there um, after you defeat the boss. If they're already dead, they won't respawn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We'll learn how to pass through fog walls. We'll cover all that cool stuff. So thank you very much for joining me here again today. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and a great new year. And I will see you all next week. As always, guys, a tremendous thank you to my patrons. It is because of each and every one of you I get to keep doing this. And I love doing this. It's been a very fantastic year. And here is to another great one.